Do you know what the worst thing about having... The worst... Second worst immediate thing about having... Been nuked? I don't just mean like... Ionizing radiation like standing next to uh... Well, whatever. Having... Having nuclei emitters embedded inside your body. When you die, the electricity doesn't go out of your body. You know. How, how, how do you people that think you got like some magical second part of you, I guess you're egocentric supported. meme your spirit yeah that's what some of you like to call it your, this thing that you think you send off to an afterlife after you're dead which I'm mean, okay I can I'll, I'll give you if you want to call that your influence your deeds your examples your mark if you want to equate that then I'll say I'll give you the credence and say well yeah uh, Symbolically, there's a spirit. Okay, so getting back on track. So, if that's your belief, if I've touched on your understanding, your belief of that whole memed concept of a s extra second helping a life after you fuck up the first one. <clears throat> nice fantasy. I mean, that's a carrot in front of a stick. Anyone in absolute misery would, with no other options, would Hegelian dialectic <coughs> bite at it. So, um, how does your spirit leave if it's, if it's energy and electricity and you got uranium or plutonium or cesium-134 or whatever, barium-124, one, one, if you've got that decaying, going through radioactive decay, you know, the angel process, uh, fission, losing electrons. Uh, how do you, uh, when, when do you say the spirit can leave? Because there's no more electricity produced in that organism. No more bioelectricity. Which, believe me, when you take into account what's happening at the subatomic level, <clears throat> well, anyhow, I'm not here to preach anyone's religion. I was just putting that out there to try and better synchronize our terminologies. You know, like, you guys say soul, and I say, well, what is it? And you have, oh, it's sacred. It's something we get. It's, it's eternal. It's something that only God could destroy. It's something that goes and go off into wonder, wonderland, and, 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 and we're like a second life, and we live forever, and, 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 and we got no poop, no... We don't even have to poop because we got no openings and... <clears throat> hey, you want to go there forever? Okay, anyhow... <laughs> um, and whereas soul in its proper context, it... Uh, in my days, my beginning days, my soul, my DNA, that's what it is. It's like it's like a GMO patent. Without fucking your heads up too much and telling you details you don't want to comprehend. And you just say, he's cuckoo. We don't know what that means. He must be cuckoo. So rather than battle your ignorance, I'll just say, you know, our way. Souls. Like what you call DNA. RNA. That's your genetic makeup. Your your blueprint, your metaphysical blueprint. That's soul, right? When I use that term, right? the spirit would be the essence, the combination, whether you've got uh, a toe going gammy and whatever it does to the electro, electro bio, bioelectric field. Uh, if you've got a bullet in your head, if you've got uh, um, uh, erogenous, um, if, 
if you got a big heart on and you're you're fucking your soulmate and you're all combined together there in the bioelectric fields, that's spirit, right? That's there's this, we got to synchronize things if we're gonna talk anything but gibberish between species. Hey, um, well, well, live and and. <clears throat> Try to have your neighbor so prosperous that he doesn't try and steal from you after punching you in the face. Okay. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Hey, don't worry. I'm just about at a thousand on the main Doc Atomics uh, channel, and um, and that, that's it. No more. <clears throat> I gotta go. Uh, I got a date with the uh, s South Atlantic. Uh, gravitational anomaly to try and buy you fuck sticks a little bit extra time and hopefully you've all mirrored what you decide to take away uh, what are we at like uh, 52 days now and I believe they already asked the Google Plus account but then they'll do the YouTube even though I never agreed to combine them all so uh, if you want a mirror uh, again uh, or take it however you want screen copy or whatever keep the lines of communications open which i guess would now for now would include both doc atomics as well as uh my clint hunter on facebook that's the only other uh only other way to get a hold of me right now i guess maybe i should put my real can i'll put give you my g my gmail email address because uh, apparently they're not going to whack that yet uh, but it's always hacked and tampered and they find some sort of way to convince themselves they're legally doing destroying and committing fraud and vandalism against me and those communicating so condition you want to take my videos however you want to take them um, lines of communication must remain open right between the author and did I understand you right well here's what I think of that you're a fucking asshole or here's a great uh, input you got it all wrong or uh, you almost got it right. right? You gotta keep them lines of communication. That's dissemination of data is paramount to any data archive. <clears throat> Whether it's a private one, an individual one, or collectively linked to go out. Okay? So you have to do that. And whatever you add or take away. Uh, must not um, critically impede the author's message, right? Um, all right? And you all got to apparently meet the uh, the real Doc Atomics there that uh, drew the original Doctor Atomics com Doctor Atomic comics and stuff. Yeah, uh, there. Put the link there to the Doc Atomics playlist, and it'll take you right to the comics and that whole playlist. Which you have to click on the little YouTube symbol in the, this corner if you're going on from Facebook. And it'll take you right to YouTube, to that channel, uh, to, that, that, to that page. And you can comment and whatever. Hey, uh, you run your own fucking pages. Because <clears throat> remember, what you do here if we preserve preserved shit, flick of the switch. And, um,. Over to Skycast it goes, hey, that we're going to build. We're all going to be a cooperative owning shares with however we decide to advertise on our channels alongside what the cooperative advertises to pay for, you know, power, infrastructure, uh, the, the, the people that got to run it and and, 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 and the equipment, the servers, the, uh, to use common vernacular, the coin, eh? <clears throat> and then what you draw out of your advertising and what you can sell of your advertising from your channel is into your pocket, as well as if you one day decide to sh sell whatever your, your channel's worth. I guess that would be your uh, your retirement, your pension, golden handshake. Says you can you know, 
go and see the world one day and you know, maybe use one of your new channels to share all that data you're picking up on your expedition, which is how you justify spending the matter and the energy going about and learning, because you're doing this to better enable others to serve life to the universe. She don't mind you doing some changes as long as it's, you know, you gotta put her on a balance. Changing a stone, uh, a, a rock into a, a weapon to bash in a sentient's head, or or a deer's head needlessly, or whatever. Nature don't want you doing that. It wants more fucking life. Not any, not not lions and voracious, mindless beasts that kill millions of deer and let them just rot there in maggots so nobody else can eat the deer, just in case you know. Then they'll have little baby deer, and then I'll. My little baby deer, I'll have to compete with that. No, 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 no. Yeah. You don't make it into heaven with that attitude. <clears throat> You're too stupid. You used your... You used your spaceship to whack your... neighbor's dog over the head and steal it and eat it. Whatever. <clears throat> oh, I gotta go now. That's... In, Enjoy your change, Julian. It, it's the climate change that, well, like I said, somebody had to go and, well, you know. You fucked up the crew that was working to repair your uh, solar sentinel relays and that's your problem. I, uh, I spent a considerable amount of effort trying to burst through the, uh, <clears throat> through the central scrutinizer barriers that people like Stephen Harper put on and and warn you of this disaster and then I tried doing it in a comical way and combining themes that were being memed all over the mainstream meme yeah like the Yulin dog steal beat and eat contest uh, festival and um, you know I did my damnedest and well we failed you didn't save the 10,000 dogs. You didn't not eat the Fukushima contaminated poor little puppies. And, you know, get them healthy and sell them for hundreds of dollars to uh, adoption fee to, to, to the families. Now, don't be breeding dogs to do that. That's for these homeless dogs and the ones that you that were stolen, that that you couldn't get back, and and uh, you know the ones that uh, couldn't wait for you to clean the mercury up at the terracotta palace ruins. Were your palace ruins there? Uh, you know, ask for an adoption fee to cover your effort from the rich person that can afford to give what otherwise would be scraps thrown in the fucking landfill. Because that's how most people treat their dog. They don't even buy them vitamins. Share their vitamins with them. And then they wonder why their dog's, you know, less than a Splendor Sentinel companion. Well, I'll feed you rice and water and we'll see. We'll, we'll see how good you can play chess when you're, when you're full grown, eh? When you're at your full maturity, you know, of 30 years and then you die at 37. <clears throat> from all the toxins. Yeah. Well, anyhow, there you go. I'm upset and I'm losing track. Quite exhausted. Enjoy your rain. It's going to turn to refrigerator size hills. Right around Terracotta Palace if my calculations are right and you don't fuck things up too much trying to fuck up the weather which is how this all happened in the first place. Stealing the rain from the guy downwind. But we already covered that this week, so if you don't remember, it's probably because your body's full of toxins. And I'm not just talking fluoride. <clears throat> or aluminum or barium or whatever from the sky. I'm talking psychogenics coming in from the matrix, the inter place 
EMF fields from all the cell phones, the Wi-Fi's, the cell towers, the digital TV signals, blah, 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 blah. Oh, did I mention the shit coming in from space? As the thermosphere goes back into the 2009 condition, despite it being fed, because the ambience is different. Okay, so, <clears throat> it definitely looks like we're on the crest of another gravity wave from Sagittarius A and whatever <clears throat> whatever fell out of the CG2 cloud hey guys are we off